It's me. Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, others, distinguished individuals. Uh, this is uh, Pushing Up Roses. Old dear friend. She does <laughs> incredibly cool stuff with art and on the YouTube. <laughs> she is the foremost videographer for Murder, She Wrote. I can honestly say that. In the world. In the world. Literally the only one. Yes, but, but, Hero but. Content. Maybe the only one. But that does, in fact, make you the foremost videographer and, and, and documentarian for Murder, She Wrote. Because it is my legacy. It and is, it's, it's what I've always wanted. <laughs> she does other stuff, too. But you can check her stuff out. She's on YouTube. It's Thanks. the only channel you can go to. That talks about murder without it being true crime. So there you go. If that's up your alley, I know that's. Should that be my motto? I'm not sure. I think it should be my motto. Um, I want you to thank. I want to thank you for uh, filling in this week. Of um, course, I don't. I don't think I can truly fill in uh, Tara's shoes, but I will try my best. Well, I, I, I. I, I think she'd be unhappy about them. I think she's wearing them. So. No, oh, well, <laughs> I hope so. That that would be. Um, I have to. I have to address something real quick. Here's the thing. What's that? My cat um has been a little uh, crazy, for lack of better terms. Yes, um, I'm in my art room right now. I can't close the door because she cried like so hard. But if I leave the door open, she crawls into that closet right behind me and smashes all of my frames. So that could happen. To, I, I have opted to keep the door open in case the cat would like to join me. But well, I make no promises. Well, she that, might do stuff. That's why she cries. When you close the door, that's her artistic expression. You're, you're stifling her. I'm, I'm stifling her? Yeah. I'm stifling her? Yeah. I'm sorry, who's the artist? She's, and she's stifling me by smashing all my frames. Her medium is smashed frames. You, you <laughs> just you gotta you gotta you gotta work with her here. In, uh, inspiring, very inspiring. Oh, okay. <sighs> let's get. Where's back. Grady? Grady he, he was just here, and then he nice. off. Well, he's over there now <laughs> because I because I picked him up during the uh, the intro to the bit, and he's like, no. Oh. He got comfy, and then I had, like, to put, no. I had to put him down. So he he's around. Here <laughs> oh, cats do not like to be picked up. No, oh, Grady does. He's a freaking teddy bear. Aw, that's because he's like part ragdoll, right? Well, he's all ragdoll. He's he's he's, he's ragdoll. He's all ragdoll. Oh my gosh, that sounds so adorable. Uh, Basket, for those of you who don't know, is a tuxedo. Yeah, and she lives up to her name. She's very vocal. She's very playful. And she's very loyal. We have a calico too. She's Lumi. She's a little tiny kitten and she destroys and she's she's evil and she's a monster. We love her. But I know. There's she, such evil gremlins that we just love like so much. We can't leave any roll of toilet paper unattended because she will destroy it. Just try. Oh, I know. I get it. Basket has destroyed, and this is my fault. Three of my bras. It is my fault. I get that it doesn't look on your face. I get it. It's my fault. I left the bra on the floor. But here's the thing, right? I have a laundry hamper, and sometimes I use it, but you don't want to put the bra in the laundry because you want to wash it that way because it might get messed up. So I leave it on the floor <laughs> so it gets destroyed. Those are expensive, too. All right. <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> let's get the intro rolling because you've you picked an an interesting week. Well, I don't I oh. asked you, but yeah, it's 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 a, it's a week. Let's get it going. No, I picked it. Yeah. I, I totally picked this week. <laughs> Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible suffering back here for a little segment. We like to call <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, this is, of course, the week after the Fourth of July. Oh no! <laughs> and the thing that happens every week after the week of Fourth of July is shit has exploded everywhere. Yeah, people cannot be trusted 
<laughs> we can't. We just can't be trusted. And, and I was about to say, oh, what, what computer? What? What are you doing here? What just happened there? Technology. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. That, that's uh, <laughs> go away. Uh, go away. Blocking stuff. Get, get that back there. There. Why was that there? Stupid thing. All right. Um. Yeah, we can't be trusted in America with things. We, this is yeah. we we are why we can't have nice things. Yeah, I, I mean, I live in uh, I live in Chicago proper, and uh, the neighborhood I live in very um, diverse neighborhoody. Fireworks everywhere, and I guess the cops go through, but they're not going to do anything because they're actually told to not arrest anybody because it's kind of. A, it's kind of a dick move, which would be on point for the cops. Yeah. But also, just what are you going to do? Arrest entire families? So there were explosions all night, followed by ambulances. <laughs> right down my street. And I'm like, well, there you go. We're, we, we have a, a string of these this week. There's so much fire. We're just oh, going to escalate just in levels of dickery all the way to... to so. This isn't all we have this week, but it's a lot because, well, all right, we're going to start are Florida stories. Are these people in Florida? Not yet. Uh, we're going to start. Is this Ohio? I believe. I think this was Ohio. And you said Ohio. Okay. I think That's close to me. So many things on the screen. As Logan County, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, which is okay. Yeah. Uh, burn grass stretched a half mile thanks to someone shooting fireworks out of a moving car. That's what official said. They look. A... Hmm? Get it. Okay, look. I'm going to be honest with you. Hmm. I have a blowtorch that I use for art, hmm. and I like it, and it's fiery, and sometimes I want to destroy things with it. So, like, I get it. You want to be badass. I understand. Like, you should see me with that blowtorch. I look sick. Um, <laughs> wait, how? How did they set it off out of a moving car? They just threw it yeah. out the window? Yeah, well, I think, I believe we do have, do we have video? Yeah, we got a little bit of video here. We'll bring oh, my God. And then up here, see if we can show that off. Um, there you go. There, there, there it is, the moving car. Let me get it on screen properly so you can see it. Uh, let's let's take it back. Let's see that again, Pat. There, there it is. Just right out the window. Probably firing Roman candles. God. That's the easiest way of doing it. Is this like the middle of the day? Looks like, yeah. So they couldn't even wait no. until maybe there weren't crowds of people or maybe children standing around. This was, this was important to them. A black vehicle, possibly a Tesla. Great. <laughs> looks like a passenger may have looks like a pastor may have been shooting Roman candles outside the vehicle toward the ground. Pretty much just started a half mile section on fire. Roger said. Neighbors who witnessed it all jumped at, to put the flames out. So that's that's great. It's on your Fourth of July holiday. You're, you're trying to kick back. You get the barbecue. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, fire. <laughs> yeah. Someone's like Tesla. That track. Well, like yeah. Yeah. Some some was a douchebag in there, you know it. <laughs> I just I'm tickled that it's daylight. Like they just that's not when you do this. Like you, you wait until the dark time to have fun. But they got it clearly on video. So if you have so this to, was planned. Yeah, if you happen to be in Logan County, yeah. Oklahoma, and you know of a douche who drives a black uh Tesla, uh maybe call the cops. I don't know. If you feel like. But what, what actually is a Roman candle? What is the difference between, because I see people talking about Roman candles. Is that like the more, is that a stronger firework? Well, it's a Roman candle. It's a stick full of little launchy balls. And oh. one thing, we, one thing, terrible thing we used to do as children is we would have Roman candle fights. You point the Roman candle at somebody else and it would shoot out these balls and the balls explode. When okay. they shoot Wait, out. Who's we? Because I was not having. See, me and my friends fight. would do this. Me and my friends, we, we, we'd have Roman candle fights. We'd, yeah. <laughs> no, I was on a computer 
playing King's Quest. I was not fighting with candles. I honestly I don't. Cool. I don't know how I made it to adulthood. I think sheer dumb yeah. luck uh, that I survived. <laughs> I don't know how I'm function- functioning. I grew up on a computer, so I don't know how I'm as social as I am, considering. Carol Manser says, douche who drives a black Tesla. I work in car insurance. I can find you a lot of those. Okay. Ouch. Uh, next up, we ha- it just it gets worse because uh, we have more fire. And uh, this one caused people to have to flee their homes. Plus, there's bonus gunfire. Nobody was hurt, thankfully, or seriously hurt. Oh, anyway, good. Thankfully. Um, lit brush fire in Southeast Aurora forced residents from home Monday evening. Woman struck by falling bullet. One house fire was... Aurora, re- Illinois. <laughs> One house fire was no. reported Monday night amid Aurora and regional firefighters battling area brush fires. I think this is Colorado. Okay, I'm just like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can see it in Aurora, Illinois, but I think sure. No injuries are reported. Unrelated in an unrelated incident, so these people are setting off fires that uh, the setting off fireworks. They're burning out house. In unrelated incident, a woman was slightly injured when she was grazed by a bullet, apparently fired into the air by an unknown celebrant. So the thing about guns, when you fire them, the bullet is going somewhere. Just because you fire it into. If you fire it in the sky, it's not like God's going, no, I got it. I'll take care of this for you. Thanks, bro. I got it. I got that. No, no, got no, no. That for you. <laughs> it goes up. And I can just imagine you're sitting there and you hear a bullet. Soof, and you were grazed by how fucking fucked in the, uh, did you, how is that going to, how that will fuck up your entire That's day. Up. Dude, I used to look. I used to think about that a lot. That's a little bit of, of a macabre girl. It's a little morbid. And I used to think like, what if like, what if someday a bullet rains down on me and that's how I die? <laughs> These are things that you think about. Like if it was me, I didn't, I would know I hadn't heard the gunshot. So I think like there's somebody like the professional, like a, a mile away. Somebody is finally paid to get rid of me. Maybe like the, the person thought they were, like how they work in Roger Rabbit and like they're alive and then they're like they go that way. Yeah, they, they don't change directions. <laughs> they um, change directions completely and they <laughs> Yeah, please do not recklessly shoot guns in the air. Alright, look. Um, Mr. Police. I'm gonna tell you, if you if they're the kind of person you have to say please don't shoot your gun in the air, you're not going to stop them by saying please don't shoot your gun in the air. Right, correct. That, They're going to be like, <laughs> definitely going to shoot my gun in the air. It's <laughs> like, you already, you, we have a, a legal, terrible as it is, you, they legally just handed you barrels of gunpowder in bright, mm-hmm. sh- entertaining fucking colors. But you're like, no, no, I'm just going to use my gun. Because. Yeah. So wait, unrelated incident? Yeah, because no, the fireworks wow. were separate. The fireworks were just, yeah. Careful. Well, that's going to haunt my nightmares. Like, see, I, I do think about that, you guys. I think, like, there's bullets in the air, and they got to go somewhere. And why not me? Which is extremely morbid, but this is how I get through life. <laughs> but wait, we're climbing the ladder of Dickory. Um, this next one is from uh, Chief Keith. He is a uh, rapper. And, um, uh, I, I, well, he was having a fireworks event in his, uh, in front of his house and, um, there was a whoops and we have video. Oh no. Let, let me bring this up here. It, there was an oops. Yes. Yes. But this time without the oops. Um, I love that we live in this time where just everything is on video now just everything and it's never coming down all right let's let's have a look here there it goes there it goes okay i'm watching i'm watching okay and that's okay (laughs) oh my god oh my god oh that's not great like 
how they're like taking cover behind his like very expensive car. Yeah, er everyone, everyone is trying to to run. <laughs> I think people like I'm. I'm astounded by the amount of people actually filming it while this is happening. Like, yeah, I know we could get like caught on fire here, but man, you great TikTok you guys. Fourth of July is supposed to be a patriotic holiday celebrating the signing of the Declaration of Independence for the founding father sent it off to King George. But for many Americans, it's uh, really a day off work in which we eat some unconscionable amounts of barbecue, get exceedingly day drunk, and or blow some stuff up. So yeah despite the fact that fireworks are illegal in many municipalities for obvious reasons that has stopped many people from celebrating July 4th with impromptu displays in driveways, backyards, and uh, parking lots, and or in the middle of the street. Certainly didn't stop uh, Chief Keefe, who said... At least went to a parking lot. Like, look, like, I'm not going to stop you from doing your firework. Uh, that's, that's your faith. That's your risk. But you could at least go to a parking lot and not your home. Because, yeah, the, the advantage of a parking lot is asphalt doesn't burn. It's not yeah. flammable. If something yeah. falls down and hits something, it's done. I do yeah. have to, I, I've got to see that again because that shit was wild. <laughs> I wonder what went wrong there because it looked good. It's like, oh, okay. That's a firework, it's I guess. Up and. It's like fucking Baghdad. Jesus. I mean, it is stunning. It's a beautiful display right in front of his car. You just hear the 1812 overture in the background. <laughs> One might say it's an explosive display. Okay, that's two on the nose. I'm tr trying my hardest to get puns here, people. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but what, what if we just forego the fireworks entirely and just set shit on fire. Um, you could. Uh, choice. It's always a tempting thing. <laughs> police, arson, police arson investigation focuses on video of fire in Lebanon Catholic gym. Following a blaze Sunday that destroyed portions of the former Lebanon Catholic building in Lebanon, a uh, police investigation of the arson is following up on leads that emerged in the aftermath via social media. The video embedded below shows two juveniles in front of a fire that appears to be the former Lebanon Catholic gymnasium. A third individual filming the video is not video. It, it, it's not visible in the footage. And it was just shared via several sources. So uh, the department said that the investigation is being jointly conducted by the Pennsylvania State Fire Marshal and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. I the only thing watching, I, watching the video here and I see I had no idea what they were doing at first. I'm like, why are they like joining hands? Like this is some kind of sacrificial dance. I saw that what they're trying to do is look like they're holding the fire like in holding. their hands. Yeah. Damn. I see. Over. Yeah. I see. Wow. Was that really oh. worth it? like Yeah, and then yeah. That and then it gets worse. Yeah, the, the first the first and only thing I can think of here is motherfucker, are you videotaping a criminal conspiracy? <laughs> right? Uh, what was that? What's that Simpson quote? Yeah, uh it was it, it was a great idea to videotape our our crime spear here. <laughs> I, just, I just can't I can't get over that they're trying to hold it with both hands like a fire baby or something. <laughs> I, I I guess I just don't understand like zoomer stuff. I don't understand the TikToks. I don't get why this is good content. But I mean I make murder hero content. So maybe I don't understand good content. But like, I, I like, don't I don't get the youngins. Just because you put it on the TikTok does not mean it's not a crime. <laughs> it is a crime. Not according to TikTok, Nash. You can put anything on TikTok. Anything. Well, it, it is. You, you, this is what we call evidence. <laughs> admissible evidence. Your yeah. face. They're not even wearing masks or anything. They're just like, ah, here no. we go. You fucking idiots. Where have we gone wrong? as like millennials where we have not taught the youngins like how, how to do crimes better. <laughs> like, 
Like, do better crimes, man. I know, it, sound, it sounds bad, but, like... Tara has, for a long time, done un- inadvertent crime mentorships via this show. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna tell you how to, like, start a fire in gym. Um, but I don't know. You can go, like, you know, protest somewhere. That's a good way to make a statement. You know, you could, like, make a tweet or something. You could, like, you write a strongly worded letter. There are many things that need to be on fire that are not on fire. Yes, the gym- my printer. <laughs> the gym- that should be on fire. This gymnasium was not one of them. No, that, that, not. that was, was not, not the thing to be. There are many things you, that people will let you put on fire. They're happy for you to burn. Sure. You could like go camping. You could start a fire there. You could have s'mores in that fire. You don't have to look like you're holding the fire. <laughs> Although it did make me laugh when I saw what they were doing. I'm like, oh, like what happened to the good old days where you just go outside and you like wash the moon or you do like, look, look, see, look, look, holding my art. You see it? I'm holding it. Like what happened to that? Speaking yeah. of, speaking of serendipity <laughs> this week. Uh, so Lewis was on last week and we had some, we had a story where a dude stole a droid from Disney. And it's like, wow. Weird, serendipity, oh, serendipity wow. here. Well, guess what? Um, we've got an art museum story for you. Uh, Ooh, I love me an art museum story. And it's from Florida. Oh. Orlando Museum of Art director fired after FBI seizes purported Basquiat paintings. The director of the Orlando Museum of Art was fired Tuesday, five days after the FBI seized 25 purportedly fake paintings on display. Uh, with contested attri- attribution to the late artist Jean Michel Basqui- Basquiat. I think I'm saying that right. Um, citing anonymous museum employees, the Times reported the museum's board of trustees met Tuesday morning to discuss the controversy. Now, here, here's here's the part where it just it's like it elevates into our area. It's not just it's not just art art faking here. Uh, Jordana Sagais, uh, an art expert and professor at the University of Maryland objected to the way her name is used in the exhibit, claiming the museum misrepresented her statements to establish the artworks as legitimate. She also said uh, an interview with her contained the exhibit catalog was fabricated. When she brought these concerns to DeGroff, that was the art director who was fired, he he told her to, quote, shut up and, quote, stop acting holier than thou. See, when I'm trying to get away with a crime, I tell people to shut up and stop acting holier okay. than thou. <laughs> and like I like I'm an artist and I have mixed feelings on like art museums and art display and kind of this and gallery stuff. It's kind of a racket when you get down to it. But um I, I <laughs> stop acting holier than thou. Yeah, that's that that's, sounds like something I get on Twitter or, or something. Right. It, it's like there are so many dudes right now just trying to bluster their way through fucking crime. And it's like, oh, no, I got this. Yeah. I, got, I this. got this, guys. <laughs> How hard could it be? You got the F. You have the no, F- that, that sounds like that sounds like every response when a guy does something wrong. And I'll be like, dude, you're doing something wrong. I'm like, shut up. Why are you better than me? Are you 12? I, I pretty much think I'm better than them because I can get away with crime and you can't. Yeah. At real. least as far as you know. And just further reading. If authentic, the best we had paintings would be worth 100. And see, that's where I get like a little like I, I am of two minds, 100 million. Although. Um, when I die, <laughs> I think I would love. I'm just thinking ahead here. When I die, I think I would like my paintings to be forged. I think it'd be fun. So I am giving you consent to do that. Yeah, just cause so chaos. Paintings. Just, just go nuts. Cause the agents of chaos. Just do it. It'll make me even more famous. Probably. I don't know. I'll be dead. Doesn't really matter. But I, I'm giving you permission to to do that. Please, seriously, you know you are, are putting up fake fucking paintings. You yeah, know this. You know. And yet you're still going to antagonize people. 
<laughs> You're calling <laughs> attention to your gall? gall. <laughs> Who has the gall to do that? This guy. People who do crimes. Uh, and men who do crimes. They have the gall. Oh, art. The original. Oh, art. The original NFT. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I just have a reaction when I hear I know, NFT. We all, <laughs> we all do. <laughs> and one last Florida one this week. Because, of course, this is just, we almost, I, I always think, think of this as a classic event. Because, Jesus Christ, how, how, all these years this shit keeps happening. Naked man runs along Florida interstate, hops onto flatbed semi. Motorists in Florida are used to bizarre traffic incidents. No shit. But this one turned heads for sure. The man was taken into custody on June 30th after authorities said he ran naked down an interstate highway before climbing on the flatbed of a semi truck. Incident occurred about 4 10 p.m. Eastern uh, during a rainstorm. Driver slowed down the southbound oh. lanes of I 75, reported seeing the man in the buff, although he was wearing sneakers. His shoes or feet, rather, you gotta protect his feet. You don't wanna like stop in the mud in the rain. You know, you find your shoes. After, <laughs> there is video. After dodging in and out of traffic, the man climbed. I can't, I can't put it on here. After dodging in and out of traffic, the man climbed <laughs> on the back of a stopped flatbed semi in the center lane, according to the Sarasota uh, County Sheriff's Office, and was taken into protective custody. Dude! All right, just Dude. I'm it's already a rainstorm. It's already everything is already <laughs> shitty. I, I've driven through Florida rainstorms. They, they they come down and they don't stop. They're bad. Yeah, they're bad. And I'm trying you you it, at some point you know, if you're on the interstate in a Florida rainstorm, you're just trying not to die. Yeah. When all of a sudden, penis. <laughs> Welcome to my dick. Here it is, guys. <laughs> I, that would be very. And this is a danger. This is a road hazard at this point. This this is not. How, I think he got. Yeah, he got up and just sort of displayed himself. <laughs> he, 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 I like he, that. I like that word. He just he displayed himself. <laughs> a bit. Yeah. Like, see if I can get this to play. Like was here. he? Was there a? Did, why though? Did he? Like, did he have a point? Was he like doing an artistic? I, in Florida? <laughs> yeah, in, in well, On yeah, I-75? In <laughs> or was he just like, you know what I'm tired of? Clothes. Yeah, they're, they're just There he is, I everybody. I feel the rain on my skin without the fabric barrier that is clothing. Hi, everybody! Here's my butt! <laughs> there you go. And also to everyone to be the, you're welcome to be the guy driving that truck. You have enough bullshit to deal with right now. Driving a truck. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Without <laughs> all like, this, you look in your rearview mirror and they're like, "Is that guy's dick out?" Yeah, it is. Is he on my truck? Yeah, it's, it's, it's out. Well, guess I better keep going. Someone's gotta. Someone's gotta drive his truck. <laughs> and this is. This has happened. This happens so much. So many stories about anywhere, anytime, minding your own business, naked, just out of fucking nowhere. And it's it's not like oh it, that that can't. It's we documented it. It is a real hazard. Is it me or is it mostly men and mostly the dick? Like that Most that that's been my experience mostly dudes yes. it is mostly yeah, dudes mostly did <laughs> but last week we did have a woman who was missing her pants and told the police that a snake ate them oh so that's uh yeah that's what she went with huh yeah that okay a like a real snake or like a really mean guy <laughs> I, I a real a real snake i think Okay, but I also thing. I also think that was a lie. So yes, I would think so. I just I like the term like it, her pants were missing, like <laughs> I went somewhere. Like 
They're somewhere. They're just missing. <laughs> they are not here. That's the important thing. Because <laughs> the snake ate them. <laughs> Computer Ronin. Streaking in the rain, just streaking in the rain. What a glorious <laughs> feeling. I'm naked again. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, the, the first thing we learn, I don't think we're really learning. This is remedial at this point, that anywhere at any time. I've learned nothing. Uh, <laughs> suddenly penis. As as all all it was really I don't know why or why and this might say something about me, but I find his tan line more disturbing <laughs> look at it it's really like it's really egregious like yeah. look at the tan line yeah i see i, I stop see. looking at it <laughs> we learned if you're going to if you're going to attempt art th art theft maybe don't antagonize the people you need as co-conspirators they get a little cranky maybe you can keep that to yourself a little bit <laughs> We learned uh, maybe don't videotape yourself burning things down that you don't own. That's kind of. We learned that men um, like to show off their penises in the rain. And wait a minute, this is like another. I, I swear I've heard I've heard you tell this story where another guy like got on top of a truck. Oh, we... is it just me or do people like to just stand on trucks like as they're moving? Well, yeah, that's kind of a thing in America. Was standing on trucks. It Woo, is. America! Uh, we've learned that uh, no matter how famous and and rich and successful you are, you can still be a fucking idiot with fireworks. Maybe um, even more so. Maybe even more so. We've learned the bullet goes somewhere. Okay. <laughs> that I don't. It's not. It doesn't disappear. You didn't launch it into space. <laughs> but that's a very funny visual. Also, like, be respectful of the birds. You know, yeah. like, they've got enough going on in the air, like dodging the airplanes and, and stuff. But, like, don't shoot at the birds. So oh, nice. And uh, finally, this week, we had... Uh, Different grass we learned, fires um, breaking out across the metro. We, we, the first was near North even East people who drive and supposedly City. environmentally Four friendly electric vehicles, but none were damaged. The second can still set the fucking world on fire because they're fucking dick bags. It's true. It may maybe even more so if you're driving that particular type of technology car. Technology car. Don't know where I was going with that. Technology car. You, you you can't blame your dickery on autopilot, I'll tell you that. 